Okay, now let's create an array. Here's an example of an array. And you can do all kinds of things with it. For example, something like this. Arrays are pretty easy to create, but there are a number of steps which can get confusing. So let's create a new comp. I'll name this one Array3 in my case. And let's add a new shape layer and open up the disclosure triangle. And from the add drop down menu, first of all, let's add a group. A group in a shape layer in After Effects is similar to groups in Photoshop. You put things together into a group and then you can apply an effect, or in this case, a repeater that's going to affect everything inside the group. So we're going to start off by creating the group. And then within the group, we're going to place a rectangle. And I'm going to switch to the selection tool, make this quite narrow, a little bit taller. And then move it up. Now with the group still selected, I'm going to add a fill. Red is the default in my case, so that's going to be fine. Now I want to select content, so I want to get outside the group and add the repeater. Now let's open up the repeater and under transform repeater we want to make sure that we change the position to 0, 0. We're going to create 15 copies, so I'll type 15, and then down here under rotation in the second value I'm going to type in 360 divide by 15. And that's going to distribute my 15 copies evenly around a circle. Okay, now we're going to animate it by going into Transform Group 1. So let's. Uh, this is where it gets a little confusing. The repeater has its own transform properties and the group has its transform properties. So to animate the lines within the group, we're going to use the Transform Group properties. And I'm going to start out by setting a keyframe for this right now for position and scale. Those are the ones we're going to use. So this is basically the look I want to have. So I'm going to set the keyframes at roughly, at, let's set it at 20 frames for this. And then I'll go back to the beginning and make everything zero for both of these properties. So we already have it coming up like this. And I'll move out to say 120. And then we can just continue to expand by giving, giving the Y position a negative number. We'll expand our array right off screen. So let's play that. And then if I want to speed it up, I can just select all of these, make sure I'm on a keyframe, hold down the Option key, and then just slide them over to the left. And this will speed everything up. I'm going to do it even more so it feels sort of like fireworks. And maybe these first ones will go even closer to the left. So it is as easy as that. Just remember, first of all, to create your group and then your rectangle. 